We've been in business since 1944. My grandfather started it. We grow apples, peaches, nectarines, cherries, apricots, plums, blueberries, chestnuts, pumpkins, and I'm sure there's a few other odds and ends that I'm forgetting, but those are our primary crops. Um, the majority of our fruit, we sell fresh market. Uh, retail is a huge part of it, although we are a wholesale. Uh, we farm 140 acres of tree fruits, so it's a sizable farm for Pennsylvania. Um, but we do some interesting things with the products. We make fruit butters and dried apples and things like that. We also make our own uh, apple cider vinegar. One of the most interesting things that we do with our, with our apples is we actually make hard cider, uh, which is one of our newer products. We started that about five years ago, uh, doing some trial batches, and we'll put out 10,000 bottles and 200 kegs of hard cider this year. There's very specific apples for making hard cider. It's all about the acidity and the tannins, so not every, it's, I basically would say like if you want to make a good Chardonnay, you don't want to use Concord grapes, you want a Chardonnay grape. There's, there's grapes for making wine and there's grapes for eating fresh. It's the same thing with apples. There's apples for eating fresh, and then there's apples for baking, and then there's apples for making cider. Uh, we're fortunate uh, with my dad and my grandfather and my uncle. Um, my uncle was a nursery manager for Stark Brothers for years and a county agent for, uh, for New Jersey. We had a lot of older varieties of apples already growing on the farm, some crab apples, some Gravenstein. These are perfect apples for making cider. Wine sap, old, older styles of apples that were, had the tannins and the acidity that we wanted. So that's what got us started down the path of being able to make cider is having the right apples. And then we've taken that further to the point that we've actually started planting apples specifically for the purpose of making cider. So there's other ones. We used to sell some Gravenstein Fresh Market. We sold wine staff Fresh Market. These apples that we're growing now, you'll never see them out on the Fresh Market. They will be picked and pressed into juice just for the purpose of making cider. We picked another one. What do you need, a crabby? Yes. A lot of Kingston Black, Dabnet, Wixon's Crab, Hughes Crab, Harry Masters jerseys, apple varieties that you probably have never heard of, never seen in a grocery store, uh, Roxbury Russet, Golden Russet. Um, we pick those apples based on their ability to grow in our climate, number one, but number two, for the, 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 the tannic and acidic qualities that they're gonna have when we actually press them down into juice. Um, so I just planted that block. Uh, my brother, my dad and I, Josh Smith, um, my brother-in-law, we just put that block in uh, this year, so it'll be about three years till we're actually picking fruit off of that. But we're pretty excited for the, uh, for the cider that it's gonna make.